Okay, so that's a two. It's a mining, and I found a mushroom cave. So it's cool. All right. And stop attacking me. Actually, let me change my sound settings. Uh, uh, go like 15%. Then master volume down to like 15. Oh, that works. All right, so. Yeah, this mushroom cave is actually pretty cool. It's disabled by default, but I re-enabled it for version 8.0. Because um, one of my testers actually found that it was in the config and it was disabled. And I was like, oh, that sounds cool. Maybe we'll find some fun guys there. So let's go ahead and enable it. Yeah, I can get these indigo mushrooms, eh? Which makes slime block sounds. Okay. Yeah, so there's not really anything here. It's just like a big mushroom forest. I think it's still a work in progress. But it can at least generate and it looks cool. And you can get free mushrooms. I think you can make food out of these, right? Yeah, you can. Silk shrooms too. Or just regular mushrooms too. And also, I got attacked and I uh, managed to do this. But that quest is pretty cool. Shields. These are actually pretty cool. Here we go. I don't want to place a crystal. Yeah, you can place these crystals down and they make light. It's pretty cool. Maybe like an underground torch, I guess, if you have something else. And see, I added multiple things to the world gen as well. Um, don't attack me. Yeah, I added a support for most of the ores in the mod pack to the world gen. Stop attacking me, you stupid thing. I'm like trying to talk about my mod pack. This one doesn't work though. Yeah, all these just aren't implemented. I'll have to go check the full list and fix them later, but for now, it's there, so. Alright, any more torches though, so let's probably go get i will go get more torches, then come back here. Where's my cave waypoint? Yeah, I was just looking for some cerulean and moonstone. Uh, mostly geode though, because I need the crystals. Because all of them are used later on. For like, 5 or 6 2 for example. I need like, lots of stuff. And, I need everything for that. And the ME chest itself, um, I can use them. There's the ME chest, um... This is a backwards recipe. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got these two swapped around. So yeah, this one is supposed to be used for this scrap. So let me, I might write that down on my list of things to fix, actually. So, um, fix any chest recipe. Okay. Yeah, I will fix it later, but for now, it's on the list. Because this, the first couple episodes are going to be the test build, so I'm just going to be writing things down that I need to fix, but later on it'll be like an actual let's play. Now where is that cave? Um... Ooh, urns. These things are pretty cool, because you can, uh, find loot, and sometimes snakes, apparently. Well, not apparently, like, you can sometimes find snakes in them. To, like bite you into damage, it's kind of annoying, honestly. Where is that stupid cave? There it is. Okay, so I actually added like a um, little cave entrance to my existing mine shaft. I paused the game back since I read that on my alt tab. So I added this right here. I, I dug my existing Minecraft in that earlier cave I showed you, and I just like attached it to my to that cave I found. So that's my that's my station, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna jump up everything. There we go. Yeah, so I just dug straight down. Well, not straight down. I dug like a little staircase. Dug a little staircase, so. Alrighty, back up on the surface. Now, put everything away. Nope, ores go with me. Go there. Alrighty. There we go. And torches. Um, that's it. Yeah, so I need to probably... Where are we at the quests, actually? Um, I got the crystals. But yeah, I need to get the keys, so... Ooh, I can make the, uh... Joe canister. This is pretty cool. Do I have... Alright, I don't have this filling in, but... I mean, I don't have it smelted, so... Alright, I'll just let that smelt. The coal. I should use tiny coal just because I have it. So. Alrighty, another book I don't I don't really need, so chuck that by the ones. Alright, 
I'll let that smelt and I'll just explore for a bit. Let's see. I'd like to go to the tower. It was over here, right? Yeah, right there. That's why I just want to clear it out. Yeah, I got some armor now, in case you haven't noticed. Um, it's really an armor, which... Ooh, it's mostly mostly good, so that's, these two are actually offset with loss, but the quality tools will add these modifiers, so we can have like, reduced armor or increased armor, uh, I think increased health, like step assist, a bunch of other cool stuff. Yeah, I'll be able to reforge them later with the uh, reforging station. But I need to get to I need to get to the overworld for that because I need obsidian. So it's me a bit, but I can probably just make new ones honestly. So I'll have to replace this at the resolved anyway. I'm saying I'm gonna need some of that. Alright, three is good for now. Cause I just need three glass to make the Aurorian glass, and then I can make the uh, dungeon locator. Alrighty. Up the tower we go. Oh, stairs are nice. And I just basically just looping back. Oh well. I do like the design of these towers, though. It's pretty cool. Like, just the staircase being, like, hidden, but also part of the tower is cool. Very simple, but nice to get free stuff. There we go, back where I was. Alrighty, what's in this chest? Nice. Okay, so I got swords, but I need a replacement. Yeah, see, I like, think that this too, like attack speed reach distance. Yeah, attack speed doesn't do anything since I've got the cooldown disabled, but the reach distance is nice. Or the, not the reduced one, the, um, what was it? Yeah, reach distance. That lets me reach a bit further so I can, I can sword things better. Actually, I, said, I think it's the proper term stabbing them, but same thing. Alright. I want to just kill the boss up here and just be done, because after you kill the boss, if it decides to spawn at least, then the um, tower will like disintegrate and explode. It's pretty cool. Oh, there you go. That's the boss. Alright, that was ever-changing boss that just fell. Don't really need it, so. Oh, he destroyed the loot. No. How dare you. Oh man, all the stuff got burnt. I hate when that happens. Oh well. It's a very hard fight, it'll drop some stuff when it dies, but the main loot is in a chest and it just destroyed it, and I hate when that happens, it's so annoying. I got some chain armor though, so that's not bad. I believe the set bonus gives you extra defense. Not quite sure though. Alrighty. Chuck everything in there. Man in a bottle? Eh, why not? Okay. That's still smelting, so I will stop you. Alright. Uh, really? I hate that one. Like, you drop everything. Super annoying. Oh well. Hey, now vision, not bad. Alright, and I died. That was great. Yeah, so, like, basically be careful when using this. <laughs> I got my head. Oh, cool. Alright then, I guess I'll just put that there as a reminder of my shame. I'll never escape the ashes of my shame and defeat. Um, moon glass, okay. Yeah, so I need plant fiber, so I need to make a moonstone sickle. And I need to smelt the moonstone for that. But for now, uh, see, it did it again. I hate that so much. Okay, last one. There we go, it just... Alright, another head. I guess I'll be ahead of the curve. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sorry for that, but I had to. Okay, so I can actually smelt these down. Like, vanilla lets you smelt them, but I'm not going to do that because it's bad. So I could put them in the smelt tree, and I turn that into iron. So that's going to take a bit of time, but it's worth it because you get a good amount of iron for mm, an okay amount of effort. It's not a lot, but it's not like it's nothing, so. I just want to have dirt. I need this one. Let's just expand this to make it a bit nicer. Ooh, the soundtrack's playing. I love the soundtrack of this mod, it's really nice. Alright, that's right. I was making a fuel canister. Right, so I need cerulean and moonstone. Is this enough? 
Yeah, alright. So I can just chuck a bunch of fuel in here. It's really, really nice, so yeah, I can just right click and a bunch of fuels in there. So it will burn, burn one durability and smelt one item. And can store 512 durability total. So I, I made this list of all items that are accepted by it. So yeah, you just right click and it'll just consume all the fuel items in your inventory and then add to its durability. It's quite nice, honestly. And see, previously actually there was a bug where it didn't work in the Aurorian furnace here. So I reported to the mod dev though and it got fixed and it was nice. Alright, useless items. Uh, Moonstone. I could do that. I need to smelt it though. Probably shouldn't come to the furnace, honestly. I'd be more efficient that way. I'll just make some coal. Oh, put it right there. Alright. Now let's get the dirt. There we go. Alright, now I'll move this public station waypoint. I'll move it to... So I could just change the coordinates, but I don't know what the coordinates are, so I'm like, eh, I'll just delete it and make a new one. It's faster that way. Moonstone, I need... Four more? Two more? Yeah, two more. That's right, I put four in there already. Huh, I was paying attention. Oh well. There we go. Quest complete. Yay, 20 XP. I need to actually add more to that. Here we go. Improve reward on tribute quest. Okay. That way, you, you, like, XP is kind of bad. So, because <laughs> this was originally like an optional quest, and then um, I made it a requirement later, and I just forgot to change it. And one of the hidden quests can use it. What could it be? <laughs> Alright, so. And the spider's abyss. Mm. Alright. Let's see. I probably need to go kill the bosses, actually. So I need to make the lockpicks. There we go. Three cerulean. Four sticks. Lockpicks. Alrighty. Pick the lock. Now I can just teleport to the dungeon. Which I normally don't do, but this time I don't care. Alright, there we go. Right there. So, I got a silver orn. Alrighty. Now I gotta get up here. Alrighty, in the dungeon. Let's kill everything. <laughs> Nothing's spawning though, so... But, whatever. It's not like I need enemies, am I right? Alright, yeah, see this loot is much better than previously. Previously you get like a bunch of broken stone tools, so it was really annoying. But I suggested to the mod dev that the, the rewards would be better. And I think I had like a list as well. And they put it in, so that was nice. Okay. Oh no, not the Orion Slimes. I hate these things. They have like way too much knockback. Such a nuisance. I hear a bunch of enemies above me too. I'm making zombie sounds. I'm not supposed to spawn here. Oh, those things make zombie sounds. Never do that. Undead Knights, which make Iron Golem sounds with damage. Oh well. Nope, nope, slime, stop, stop, stop sliming. There we go. Okay, so for this episode, I'd like to at least get the Dark Sun Dungeon done, or at least start on it, because um, that'd be a, that way I would be, <laughs> that'd be oh, I can't talk, that way I would be like two-thirds of the way through this mod, and then I can go the overworld, and that's where stuff starts. Good on storage? Yeah. Alrighty. Let's see. I always get confused in here. I'm like, where's the staircase? And it's like right behind me. Alrighty. Okay, I wasn't able to fix the stretching either of the video, so I'm sorry about that. I will try to fix it, but I'm just not able to find out what's causing it in the first place. All my googling does nothing, and I don't think anyone I know uses OBS, but I'd have to ask. So. Not blueberry, nice achievement. I wish I didn't get all, or at least most of the achievements, because it'd be cool. Like, episode 400, we're getting more achievements! <laughs> well, like ethos and just have like 600 episodes of Minecraft somehow. Yay! Leveled up! I need to clear out my inventory too. Yay. 
Okay, I see. I personally consider journey maps teleportation feature very useful. So you are free to not use it if you want, but um, I don't care if you do. I mean, I can't stop you from using it. So. Alrighty. Getting close. So I think right above there is where the spawners are for the slimes. So I just do this pork roll real quick. My my mad skills. And oh, actually wait. I want to see if I can do that performance improvement like last time because I really thought this whole video hasn't been like laggy the whole time. I'll be sad if so. Okay, I already did. But yeah, so I I did a great job in this parkour, as you can tell. I'm amazing at this. Alrighty. And there we go. Spawners are dead. Nope. Okay, well, I can't get the chest anyway. I need loot. So, here. And then I'll just, uh, Pop back home if I can find it. There we go. I would like to get the RF tools teleporters eventually, because those just work better and, like, aren't as cheaty, I guess. I don't know. Actually, that's, that's an ore. Oh, goody. Where is my moon glass? Did I make some moon glass? Where'd it go? Oh, I put it in there. Of course I did. Orion glass. I'll use that later, but I'll leave it in there for now. I'm going to need it pretty fast, so. We're going to scrap that, that. There we go. Just chuck everything in here. And these teas are kind of pointless. I, I like find them mostly annoying, honestly. But I do get some really mugs out of it, so. Not a total loss. And here we go. This. Why isn't this working? Oh. I forgot. Ah, see? Here, I found a bug. There we go. So that recipe is supposed to give me this flower, but uh, it didn't because I did it wrong. So instead, I'm going to give myself 6, 9, and 10, 11, and then delete that. There we go. So I won't do things like that normally, but uh, I broke the recipe, so I had to fix it. I'm sorry. But yeah, it's like it's like the uh, wheat recipe I showed last episode. Just, it's just that, but with lavender, honestly, so. I mean, you can smelt this into bread. Yeah, lavender bread, specifically. And lavender bread works the same as regular bread. Um, I think it gives, like, a bit more hunger. Yeah, it, it gives a bit less hunger. But you can turn it into a silkberry jam sandwich, which is very good. It has high saturation and a high food value. And so, you can make silkberry jam and turn it into the bread. And you can also just not do that, but you can if you want, so. Blue but eatable! Yeah, boy. Another advancement. Okay, so. I can make six of these. Alrighty, so I got my inventory tweak set, sorting rules set up to where, um, when I sort, the best food item is going to go into the first slot. Would be nice. Alright, so, another one. Ah, uh, it takes forever. I don't like these furnaces. Oh, wait, I can make two of these. Uh, yeah, these are nice because they will speed up the furnace. Which kind of works, but is like partially broken. Um, but it's still pretty good. So I'll just make one. There you go. And nope. <laughs> Let me remove my head. Back on the ground. There you go. So now it's a little bit faster, I think. I'm not quite sure. Um, oh, yeah, it is a bit faster. Alright. So. I'll make a few more of them. Maybe <sighs> torches in the way. There we go. Barely got it to work. Alright. Yeah, I'd like to uh, convert all the torches to regular Minecraft ones. Because, like, lighting wise, they're all identical. Um, I just like having them all be the same so I can carry them all. But oh well. I'll put this in here for now, along with my other random junk. Uh, I can go ahead and smelt this fish. Um, don't have anything else though. You go, I can process this ore. You go here, you go there. Um, you need more fuel. There you go. Alright, so I'll put that in here. Alright, back to the dungeon we go. Okay. So I want to get this chest up there. 
Because I can get those chests, I can get nice loot. Well, obviously I'm going to get loot. It's a dungeon chest, like, you always get loot. No! I hate parkour. I don't like how, like, every dungeon in this mod is, like, based on parkour. Which is kind of cool, but mostly annoying. So, <laughs> just get to my nerves, honestly. Like, having to force you to do parkour. No, I missed some of it. Alright. No, get... What am I hitting? Oh, see, it's like cramped as well, which is annoying. No, I didn't get it all. Alright, good. Actually, I'll eat this bacon. Why not? Another tea that I really can't use. I think that would get strength, but of course I have infinite strength in my armor, so... No! Oh wait, I can just build. There we go, this is definitely not cheating. But I got some loot. So it's worth it. Ouch. Here we go. Um, alright. No, stupid slime, stop attacking me. Okay, this piece of bacon. I'll probably just eat the bacon as I go, because that way I don't have like cluttered inventory space. So. Plus, it's like it's not very good food. Um, if I can spell. It's not very good. Only like one food point. Well, actually it's two food points technically. And like a little bit of saturation. So it's really it's like there's really no reason to make it, honestly. It's just like a cool little novelty thing, so. There we go. There we go. Alright, I got all the loot here, so... See, I like to mark the exits with a torch, that way I just know, like, hey, that's where you're supposed to go. Even though I don't ever come back here, because there's no reason to. I actually got loot, so... Hmm. No... I'm sorry about the bad narration. Uh, narration is like... Not my strong suit, um, so it's probably gonna be quiet most of the time. I mean, I've tried. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could talk about like, the design aspects of the mod pack, but it's like boring developer stuff. Who cares about that? Am I right? All right, more useless junk. Nope, I want the quest book. Uh, Orion Cold Block. So, like, I think it's like the only reward that gives you something that's like directly useful. I don't know. Nice. Let's see, there's a staircase right there. I think this is a boss fight. Oh yeah, it is. Alright, um... I'm really not prepared. This sword is slightly better, but like... Nah. I don't like that levitation ability, I always use it by accident. Alrighty, let's hope I don't die. Restore Guardian, or Dungeon Keeper, actually. And... That was easy. Nope, nope, nope! No! Ah, uh, I spoke too soon. Okay. Yeah, watch out for that, like, giant Gatling gun ability, because it will kill you. It's like one hit left. There we go. I won! Yay! And this, right here, is some dialogue from one of the characters in the mod pack. So, I, like, wrote a bit of dialogue that sometimes appears. And we got a trophy! Okay, so I don't have enough space, but I will make a loot waypoint. Back to my help station. Uh, dump this off in here. And then there we go. I just gotta transfer all the items, so. Roaring coal block, um, I'll chuck it in here. There we go. And then crystals. Um, nope, the scrap goes in here. These go in here. And speaking of scrap, actually. Need, okay, nugget and then crystal. So, nugget, crystal. There you go, got key. More dialogue. So that is, notice that these text is different. Uh, the gray one is Dr. Kashik, who like guides you through the main mod pack. And then the, the aqua is the queen, Queen Aurora. And you know, each each quest has like dialogue from different characters. And I'm sorry I've been skipping over it. I, I don't usually read it. So if you guys want to read it, you can like pause the video at, at frame perfect times or play the mod pack. Um, yeah, so I will try to keep them on screen for at least a little bit so you can read it if you want to. Yeah, so we got what to do. Navigate through the maze, find a way to the Spider Mother's lair. The twisting hallways have encrypted and overrun, so watch for spiderlings as well. I would do like a custom voice, but I am not very good at that, so. Or a nice sword. So, 
Scrapper, what do I need for you? Alright, just some stone. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Perfect! Okay. And the Cerulean. I love that mouse wheel scroll, it's so nice. Scrapper, okay. I need to actually add. I can smell them, okay. Yeah, so I got the scrapper, which I don't have a place to put. Um, I'll put it here, actually. Alright, I got a scrapper. Now to make a hopper. Because, you know, that way I can just chuck everything in there and just not have to bother with a uh, waiting for stuff to process, so. Yeah, so you feed these scrapper crystals, and then it'll scrap, like these uh, roaring crystals. And it will scrap the items and just break them down into various. <laughs> Forms of scrap. I'm bad at this. Okay, so Umber turns into Upper Scrap, uh, Roronite turns into Roronite Scrap, Crystalline Items turn into Crystalline Scrap, so on. And you can even scrap vanilla items into nuggets, uh, except for diamonds, which turn into regular diamonds. That's all. That one's almost done. So I need a chest. I have to use one chest. How terrible. I've only got 31 left now. Here we go. Quest complete. Alright, so I'll just chuck this in here. And it's eventually going to finish, so... Any more? Oh, I do. Okay. Yeah, these silkberry jam. <laughs> these silkberry sandwiches are really good, so I like having them. No, yeah, yeah, scrap. So I'll take umber scrap because I've noticed it's like the rarest, but you can choose whichever one you want. So, all right. Now I'll put the moonstone in here. Um, yeah. Four, two, three, four. Locator. Uh, dungeon locator. That dungeon locator right here. Yeah, so you can just use this to look at dungeons. It works kind of like the Eye of Ender. That's cool noises, though. Okay, so for now, it's not super useful. I need to do the, uh... Uh... What was it? Darkstone. <laughs> I could have just looked at the key. Yeah, I needed the Darkstone dungeon first, so... First of all, I want to claim my loot. Oh, no! See, waypoints just don't get made at the right wire level sometimes. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, that's because I made it right next to these blocks. No wonder. Ah, oh, Bepis. Oh, Bepsy. Which does nothing. Actually, I think it's your potion effects. Yeah, it gives you speed for three minutes. Not bad. Strange meat. Ah. Yeah, so strange meat uh, is a huge chunk of meat, which has five uses, and it restores a good amount of food. I think it's the same as this. Yeah, steak. Uh, yeah, it's the same as steak. It's just like a five use steak. Um, but not super useful. So, don't have space left. Arg. All right. We. Five or seven. Okay. I'll make this. Um. 510 and hopefully it's like nearby. <laughs> I've got these enchanted books, so might slow down. Um, yeah, so these are mostly pointless. Like, I can't actually use any of them because I don't have an anvil. Um, I could make an anvil though, but they're also just tool enchantments. And I personally prefer Tinker's Construct tools, which are like always better, pretty much. So that's the main reason I use them. And yeah, so where is that locator? Keep your army. Yeah, so this is a Roronite Scrap. So you got, you got to be careful to empty this. Because automation with hoppers doesn't work. And you know, it will take the crystals out. I have to use like item ducks or something else that lets me specify items. But, well, so yeah, that's be scrapped. That could be scrapped. Ooh, legendary. I might as well use that. Because it's like pretty good. I, just, I gotta remember not to right click with it. Or I'll phone this guy. Yeah, so all the enchanted ones I'm going to keep. So I can disenchant them later. I get the... Uh, Enchantment Extractor, which will let me remove enchantments from items and put them on a book. Put them on a book, and it's really nice to have. I yeah, just I'll keep everything that isn't enchanted and scrap it. Alrighty, so we go there. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's like late, so I'm yawning a bit. I'll try to edit it out, but I might forget. Crystal and scrap, okay. I can make the ingots, but I'll keep them as scrap for now because I don't want to use too much space. Um, I want to try and conserve space. Oh, oh, there's levitation. So I want to try and conserve space um, so that I don't uh, have a lot of stuff to move when I finish this quest line. Because I personally like to move to the overworld after I finish the quests. So. Mm, can't make really anything useful. I just, oh, go empty in. I usually carry my sword around. I don't know why. It's just like I default to my sword. I think probably because just in case something wanders in my house or something, I can just kill it. So. Ah, oh, this thing takes forever. There we go. 
Alright. I wanted to at least get the moon stone out. That way I can just have it work in the background. Nope, I want my key. Alright, locator goes back, and off to the Darkstone Dungeon. So, alright, first is the last bit of my loot. Where? There it is. And that's all the loot, so... Don't need you. Darkstone! Yeah, actually I'll go ahead and, um, enter my inventory first. Hobo station. <laughs> I have to, like, walk really far. Yeah, it's like 400 meters away, so... Lightning resistance. This is marginally useful. Um, I don't think anything inflicts lightning in single player though. It's like a multiplayer only enchantment. But I'd have to check on that, so... I have to double check it, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so actually I want to make a, um... Separate chest for... Like, random enchanted items. Yeah, I don't- I, I wanna keep- <laughs> Ooh, that's terrible. Um, efficiency, okay. I'll just use you. And then, more crystals. I don't like like crystals only stacked to 16, it's kind of annoying. Alright, scrap that. And I can leave everything else, but yeah, later I'll make another chest for items I'm gonna melt down and like scrap later with the uh, smeltery. Okay, so this Darkstone dungeon is a cool maze. And, uh, uh, really, game? This is not supposed to happen. Alright. I have to make this like one of the screenshots on the main menu. There we go. Took forever to save, but yeah, this is not supposed to happen. Um, I don't know why this generated over, but free stuff, I guess. So I hope it didn't ruin the whole dungeon. <laughs> uh, tower. Oh yeah, there we go. It still continues good. So I could just mine through this stuff that I'm not supposed to have yet because I haven't reached another. But whatever. Not like it's useful. Yeah, so there's supposed to be like a giant staircase, but this tower, this battle tower, just generated over it. Um, I'm not quite sure why it did. But, world gen, so. Alrighty, some more coal. Yeah, so there's like no enemies in here, and I've, I've set the enemy density to like 10, which is the maximum. So I should have theoretically 10 times as many enemies, and there's just nothing. So I have to ask the mod developer if it can be fixed. So. I think I, already, I think actually I already suggested it. If the mod has taken a break, I think, from the mod. So I'm just gonna like <laughs> patiently wait for things to get updated, but at least the mod is stable, that's all I can ask for, like, mods that are stable are good, because that way I don't have to deal with a bunch of bugs and crashes, which are super annoying, both just in general and as a mod pack developer, because I have to, like, find all the conflicts and fix everything. I don't want to go downstairs yet, I want to go back. It's just a massive pain to just fix all the things, so. Like, the journey map helps a lot in this dungeon, because I can just, <laughs> I can basically cheat and look at the map and have a path, but yeah. You could just turn it off during this if you want. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, I tried to I tried to design this mod pack around different playstyles where people could like do basically whatever and still reach the same general conclusion of what I'm trying to aim for. So um, yeah, orbs though. These orbs are pretty good because I can like repair items with them. So I won't repair my uh, stone shovel, but I will try to repair my armor. Okay, so whatever you're holding will be repaired and pretty nice. Top up. Oh, okay. Good enough. Yeah, I mostly scrap them just because I don't like. I don't like. I feel like it's like a waste to use it to repair things because it does. It does repair 250. Um, I could boost that actually. Uh, let me add that to my dev list. Durability to let's say 350. I'll try 350. See how good that is. Because I'm not sure how much repairing something with the ingot will repair, but hopefully it's a good amount. So. Alright, let's see if I can go find that staircase again. There it is. So, this dungeon has got two levels. Uh, that first level that I was just on, which has the big maze, and then down here is where the actual boss fight is. So, you gotta navigate through these winding hallways full of cobwebs and enemies, um, which aren't spawning. I am on hard mode, so I should have way more enemy spawns. Nope. Oh, I don't like landing cobwebs. You see, I want to do that quest too, to kill 15 spiderlings, and... Yeah, gotta do this. Why is anything being registered? That's weird. I've killed a bunch of stuff and it's just not being picked up. What's up with that? I know what. I think it's because you have to like complete the Greenstone dungeon before those quests unlock. I'll check my footage and check because 
It's supposed to unlock as soon as you unlock that quest. Like, as soon as that quest becomes visible, you can do the killing enemies quests. But I might just change it to where after it unlocks after you do the keys. Like, the, the rest of these are just making the key and then the quest unlocks. So I'll probably just do that. I can't fix it, so... Okay, this is why I'm doing this test build, to play test and see if things work. Yeah, so I am out of inventory space, so... I need to drop things off. Alrighty. Here. Uh, help us station. Alrighty, dump everything in there. Oh, the music here is really nice. This boss music is really good. I don't remember the guy, the, the name of the guy who made it. Um, it's on the mod page though, so you can check if you want. Alright, actually you go here and then there. That way the good stuff is destroyed first, so... I'll keep this silk stream stew. Um, I'll keep the stew on me, and I can just eat it later when I want to, so... Alrighty. More cold nuggets, nice. Let's see, how, how long has it been? <laughs> I didn't check my recording. Oh well. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just... Um, I'll stop it here, but uh, if I don't have enough footage, I'll film some more. So, let's just see. Check how much I got. Alright, <laughs> so... I just checked, because as we know, I'm a professional and always have a timer. But uh, I've got like 36 minutes of footage, so I'm going to call this episode good. Uh, I am like sorry for making this saga. But yeah, I did smelt my cerulean and made this chest. I caved made the chest that has stuff I'm going to get rid of later. So um, I think that's all for now, but yeah. Thank you for watching. I will make episode 3 probably in like 10 minutes, but it depends on when it, I decide to upload it. I couldn't I could make it not upload for two weeks. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later.